In today's video, we are going to be talking about what Google's Agent Development Kit is, what's involved in setting up a project that uses it, and then show how Docker Compose can simplify the process in just a few steps. So by the end of this video, you'll see how easy it is to get things up and running, working with an ADK multi-agent fact checker project using Compose. Let's go ahead and take a look. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure that you have a couple of things installed. First, have git install, which you could install from here for your appropriate computer. Next, of course, you need to install Docker. I have the Docker desktop install, which I downloaded from over here. Also, you'll want to clone the repository composed for agents that we'll be working with, where you have a variety of type of frameworks. And you'll want to make note that if you are running some models locally, you'll need a laptop or workstation that has a GPU. And if not, you can always use Docker Offload. And in order to do that, you'll want to make sure that you sign up for Docker Offload Access here in their beta program. The Agent Development Kit, ADK, is a flexible and modular framework for developing and deploying AI agents. While optimized for Gemini and the Google ecosystem, ADK is model agnostic, deployment agnostic, and is built for compatibility with other frameworks. Setting up this ADK project means lots of manual steps. Installing Python, packages, the gateway, model runner, setting ports, and making sure versions don't clash. That creates risks like conflicts, missing dependencies, or the project working on one machine but not another. With Doc and Compose, all of that is defined in one YAML file. It pulls the right images, wires services together, sets variables, and runs everywhere in order. You avoid messy installs conflicts and inconsistencies making the setup faster cleaner and the same everywhere this project shows a multi-agent system using the agent development kit an auditor agent runs the show a critic agent searches the web through DuckDuckGo and a revisor agent double checks and refines the answer together they demonstrate how different agents can collaborate to verify facts and produce reliable results Let's take a look how. Now to limit the stress and load on my computer, I will use Docker Offload. So to start, I'll enter Docker Offload Start and select my account. And it asks if I want GPU support. If we look back at the documentation, it'll indicate that you only want to do this when you want intense support. Either way, work is going to be offloaded from your computer. So for now, I'll just say no. And it looks like we're good to go because according to the documentation, when Docker offload is started, we will see this cloud icon from our desktop UI, which is right over here. So to kick things off, I first navigated into the root of our project directory, which is ADK, and then I ran Docker Compose up. And for editing purposes, I did speed up the process, but essentially what's going on is it first reads the YAML file to see what services needs to be run, and then it builds the needed images followed by creating a private network so that the services can talk to each other. And finally, it starts everything that it needs to. And in our case, we could see that we need to go to port 8080. And when I bring that up, now our agents are ready to be used. So I'll ask a question such as, is the universe infinite? And again, this is a sped up, but once the results are returned, we can go ahead and scroll up to examine them. And we'll notice that there's three steps that essentially took place. The first was to identify the claims in regards to our question and then to verify each claim followed by some details there and step three is to provide an overall assessment and last but not least is a final statement regarding our question which says the question is the universe infinite is complex and currently not definitely answered while current cosmological models lean towards potentially infinite universe the observable universe is finite and we cannot definitely prove or disprove infinity
Interesting. Let's explain our ADK YAML file. On line three, we start the ADK service. That's the main app. On line seven, it opens up a port so we can reach it in a browser. Then on line 10, it waits for the MCP gateway to start first. Jumping to line 19, here's the MCP gateway service. This is the bridge that connects our app to outside tools like a DuckDuckGo for searches. And finally, down as line 28, we configure the model, gamma. The context size just means how much text can handle at once. So overall, from top to bottom, the file wires together the app, the gateway, and the model so they can all run smoothly inside Docker. Let's turn our attention to the architecture overview of this ADK project and walk through the agent setup. We start off by asking a question at the top, and auditor agent is the coordinator. Think of it as the teacher checking everyone's work. First, it sends the task to a critic agent whose job is to look things up. The critic doesn't browse the web directly. It goes through an MCP gateway that calls the DuckDuckGo API for live search. All of that runs inside Docker, so it's isolated and easy to repeat. The critic forms a draft answer and passes it, plus it's reasoning to the reviser agent. The reviser doesn't use tools. It just thinks, cleans up logic, and improves clarity. Both agents run their reasoning through a Docker model runner. And finally, the auditor reviews everything, signs off, and returns the final answer to you. And that's mainly it to run an ADK project using Docker Compose. Let me know in the comments which framework from the Compose for Agents repo that you've used or want to see a demo on next. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for videos on the horizon. And if you got value out of it, make sure you check out this video here too. Thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one.